Hello everyone, in today's video I'll show you how to create this outline effect for Unreal Engine 5. So a lot of people have been wondering how I created the outline effect in my first video of this channel and I haven't done a tutorial on it but in today's video I will show you how to create this black outline effect into your game. As you can see it looks very nice and uh, you can also change the color of it, you can change the thickness and how much it will be, so the amount of the outline. Uh, so yeah, this is a outline shader tutorial, so let's start. Okay, so first of all, we need to create a new material, so right click, new material, and I want to call it outline shader uh, pp, so for post process, and uh, then we want to go into it. And then, what you want to do is to change the material domain from surface to post process, so we can actually use this material in the post process. Then, I want to go down here and I want to create a parameter, so hold down the S key and left click. Oh, as you can see, it created a param parameter and I want to call this outline thickness. didn't spell it right but it's okay then out of here we want to get a blur sample of sets that and then our the 0 0.1 we want to get a sample scene depth and want to duplicate this by four so one two three four now we have four of these so we'll just align them correctly, like that. And then the uh, 0 0.1 will go into the pixel offset instead of the fraction offset. So just hold on the Alt key and left click on this line to delete it. Then just change it to the pixel. Uh, so the 1 will go into the pixel offset. And the this one <laughs> will go into the uh, pixel offset again. And as well this one. Like that, and just drag them up a bit. Then, our depth using pixel offset, I want to add the B value will be the depth uh, using pixel offset of this one. Like that. Then, just duplicate that one again. And then, the same, so this one into A, and this one into B. Like that. Then, out of here, I want to get another add. And this will go into the B, or whatever, doesn't really matter. And then, I want to get another add. So, drag over the add, get another add. You can just plug this into the B, because it will look a lot better. And then, I want to hold down the 2 key, then left click. So, we get a material expression constant. And then, I want to drag out of here. I want to sample in depth again and this will be into the pixel offset and then out of here we want to get and then out of here we want to get a multiply so just multiply that and the multiply will go into the add the value will be set to minus four that just like that And then, out of the add, we want to get a ABS, so an absolute, so it's absolute, and then we want to get a multiply, and then we want to get a new parameter, so hold on the S key, and left click, like that, and this will be called the outline amount, so how much we want the outline to be, so, uh, the value will be set to 0.1 and this will go into the B value then we want to get a power, so power the EXP will be another parameter, so S, left click and then we want to call this outline power and then this will go into the EXP and the value will be still 1, so the default value is 1. 
drag that away. Then are the power we want to saturate. And then are the saturate we want to multiply. Let's try it into the B value. It will look a lot nicer. And then from the A value we want to make a new scene depth. So scene depth. And over here we want to divide. And this divide will be set to about 8000, let's say. And then over here, we want to get a 1 minus. And then the 1, one minus will go into the A value of the multiply. Like that. And then the multiply. Uh, and then of the multiply, we want to get another multiply. And then we want to hold on the 4 key and left click. So we get a 4 vector and the alpha will go into the B, so this one right here. And this is the outline color, so you can change the name uh, right. We change the name right here. Yeah, so this is the outline color. Uh, so you can change to whatever color you want, but I think that black looks good for me. Uh, then we want to get a scene texture. So then we want to drag out of here and we want to get a lerp. That. And this will be set to the B value, so just hold down Alt. Then just change it to the B value. And the multiply will go into the alpha. And then we want to get a scene texture, so scene texture right there and the scene texture id will be set to post process input zero so it is our post process in the game and the color will be a component mask and the values will be r g and b so just tick the b value and then just drag it into the a that and then the lerp will go into the emissive color. Now. Alright, so I have found out what the problem is. And there's three problems. And the first thing is that uh, we want to change the default value of the outline thickness to 1. And then if we go here to the scene depth, this line right here, we want to drag this out. Oh. And they want to add another saturate. That and just drag it into A. And then we want to delete this. Guess this one is wrong. So just delete that. And now, as you can see, we have a outline, but it looks really weird. And that is because the color is white. So if we just uh, search for a param, we want to get the vector parameter instead of the vector4 parameter. So, just uh, name this outline color. And then this will go to the B value. And now, as you can see, the outline shader works. Uh, and then you can change the color, as you can see. But, as I said before, but I will use black for this video. And you can also use this method to uh, maybe interaction. So if you go up to an object, uh, this outline maybe can uh, you can apply this outline effect. So you know that the object is interactable. So you can do a lot of things with this uh, uh, shader. So yeah. Now once we've done the uh, material, we just want to apply and save. Go start over here. And then we want to go to the post process volume, so post volume, this one right here. But if you don't have one, you can just add one right here, so just post process volume. And then also make sure that unbound is ticked, so it will apply to the whole level. So once you have your post process volume, we we'll to search for mat. And then we want to go down to rendering features, post process materials, and then we want to add an array choose a asset reference and then the asset reference would be the outline shader we just made so just click on this arrow right here or just search up in here 
and now as you can see we have the shader all working so yeah that's a quick video on how to get the outline shader and it looks really good and you can customize it to however you want uh, so yeah thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one and don't forget to join the discord bye guys love you all